What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today I'm going to show you how to set up chases on your Rock Force W2. So now for bank one, we already programmed three different scenes. If you need help on that, check out that previous video. But scene one is going to be our color red. Scene two is going to be the color green. And scene three is going to be the color ultraviolet. So now the cool thing about setting up chases is it's actually a string of scenes played in consecutive order at a specific speed and fade time. This allows us to create user-generated automatic presets that we can play anytime during our performance or show. To set up a chase, we're actually going to go back into program mode. So to do that, we're gonna find the program button over here and hold it for three seconds. And once our display starts flashing by the program silk screen, we know we're in program mode. So now to actually activate one of the six chases that we can program, we just click on the button of the chase we want to set up. In this case, I'll use chase one. So once you click it, you'll actually notice the display reads chase one over here. So if I cycle through the different chases, you'll see it changes on the display. So we're programming chase one, so I make sure that the display reads chase one. And now what we're going to do is add our scenes to the chase. Now the way you want to think of a chase again is it's playing the scenes that you created in consecutive order at specific speed and fade times. So the order at which you add the scenes does matter, so you do want to think about it a little bit. For this chase, just to keep it simple, I'll go with the scenes that we created in their specific order. So we'll start with scene one. So I'm going to click scene one and the MIDI add button over here. The display is going to flash, letting me know that I set scene one as the first scene in chase one. Now I'm going to go to scene two and click MIDI add. The display flashed again, which lets me know that scene two was successfully added. Then I'll go scene three, MIDI add. The display flashes again. And now let's actually go backwards and add scene two again. MIDI add. Display flashes. And now we'll go back to scene three, add it. So if you're following along with my sequencing, I actually went scene one to scene two, to scene three, to scene two, to scene three. And then we're going to leave program mode the same way we would leave if we were programming a scene, which is to just hold the program button for three seconds until the display shows that you're in blackout mode, which you can leave by just clicking the blackout button. To now play that chase, we're actually going to want to make sure that we set our speed and fade time first. So for the speed fader, you'll see the bottom is actually the longest speed time. So it's between 0.1 seconds and 10 minutes. So to play our chase quickly, we're going to want to go up, and our fade time is the opposite. It's between 0 minutes or 30 seconds, which will allow you to fade between 0 minutes or 30 seconds at the slowest. So we'll just go a tiny bit above 0. Now to arm the chase that we created, you're actually going to press the button of the chase you want to play, which in our case is chase one. You'll see the chase one actually comes up on our display, and now to play it, you're actually going to press the auto button, and it'll start playing our chase in that sequence that we created. I can adjust how fast the chase is playing with my speed and my fade time again, so if I wanted it to slow down a little bit, I could bring up the fade time, or I can also adjust the speed. Chases and even scenes are very user-generated, hands-on presets that you can create to enhance your performances. And you can always play around with the different functionalities and the settings that you create to really get specific with how you want the lights to look. And remember, within the 30 memory banks you have on the Rockforce W2, you can set up six different chases of eight different scenes. So the possibilities are really endless. You can also press the music button to actually utilize the built-in internal microphone and it will actually filter through the different scenes in your chase just using sound. But hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to set up chases from the scenes you create on your Rockforce W2. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support tech team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Mike from Rockville and I'll see you in the next one.